This video was sponsored by Power Circle Clothing and Headbusters Food Company in association with Cook Up Unlimited. Cook Up! This is not a podcast. Dennis here back with another episode of This Is Not A Podcast. Y'all already know what the lick read. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification button. It's greatly appreciated. So today we got a pretty cool, interesting topic and that's things you don't see anymore. So I think one of the things I don't really see anymore is candy stores. You know what I'm saying? Like the kids these days don't know the joy of going to your local candy store. Now I'm not talking about a business like this on a main strip or, or like your traditional candy store. I'm talking about like house, like somebody in your neighborhood, maybe a neighbor, maybe like a couple blocks down around the corner, somebody in the hood had a candy store. Store with everything you want in it. That's what I want to talk about today. See, I know this is like foreign language to some of the youngsters, but a lot of people like my age and a little bit older can definitely relate to this. And like even like back home in Chicago, like every now and then you might um go down, like let's say on the west side, you might see on the block, you might see somebody set up a table, you might see somebody in the park, and you might have uh, a bunch of chips, and candies, and, and, and all type of drinks and everything else, all at one spot. Like might even get you a whole meal right there now these days. It used to be a time where the kids like every day on a school day, whether it's before school, after school, some of the uh, knuckleheads that did school, probably in the middle during school hours, would go to the candy store. Now, growing up where I'm from, I'm from a small city that sits just right outside of Chicago, Harvey, Illinois, infectionally known as Harvey World, USA. It's what we like to call it. You know, people that's actually from there. So, you know, back when I was younger and coming up when in the era of where you had candy stores everywhere, we used to have two candy stores in particular in our neighborhood. And um, one in particular was uh, Miss Jackson's Candy Store and Mr. Oz Candy Store. Now, we can all sell the bait. Now, it was many candy stores before them, after them, but these two particular candy stores in our neighborhood at the time. But this one right here was the candy stores of all candy stores. So it's either... Now, Miss Jackson's Candy Store, she had like a storefront that sat right on the corner, right across the street from our old elementary school back home. And uh, all the kids would go there in the morning real quick, go get them a honey bun, some wham whams, zoom zooms, and then they go on about their day, and, you know. But the, the Willy Wonka of the hood, let's just say, was Mr. Oz Candy Store. Mr. Oz Candy Store was in the neighborhood, was like the quintessential candy store that you, I think anybody, like everybody had candy stores. I don't care what city or the city over. If you went to Markham, they had candy stores. You went to Harvey, it was candy stores all over the place. We had a freeze cup spot. You know, a lot of y'all don't know what freeze cups is. Icy cups, icies, whatever you want to call them. Not Italian ice, not the snowballs. I'm talking about freeze cups where you take the Kool-Aid. You know, you make, you know, you had to make bomb Kool-Aid to make freeze cups that have a bomb. So, you know what I mean? So you would take those, make cool, frozen, basically frozen Kool-Aid pops. And you would put them in styrofoam cups and then you would freeze them, have a freezer full of them and sell them for a quarter, 50 cent a piece. Sometimes you had the dollar joints. Let's go back, shall we? We're going back to me. We're going to go back in the days on this one. So I think the most appropriate thing right now is to turn this video black and white. Now, now, if I could go back to memory lane, sometimes I like to do this, man. We just hop in the car, we just hit blocks and go down memory lane, we can do that. Or I could just tell you the story in black and white, but I'd rather just tell you in black and white because I feel like putting up the green screen. So we're just gonna go from here. So I'm gonna hit y'all with Mr. Oz Candy Store. Here we go. So I'm gonna tell you, this is what you don't see every day. You don't see candy stores anymore. May not be the safest thing to do pandemic wise or even like for safety reasons because there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in, in the world these days. Preferably in the Chicago and in the Chicago land area in the South suburbs, really don't matter. But back then, we just going to talk about the good times. So one of my most fondest childhood memories was the candy stores. So these is one of the things you don't see every day. Um, Mr. Oz candy store for us was, man, he had every type of candy known to man. He had so much stuff in there. You could buy pizza puffs. Basically, you could buy all the fast food cheese sticks and chips with cheese, like all this stuff. All the traditional candy stores was known for. You know, nowadays you see this type of stuff in the gas stations. They adopted this business method. Now, Mr. Oz was basically like the gas station except with a better selection of candy and snacks you can get anything from motor oil pampers he was a one-stop shop basically anything you wanted he probably had it there over time he always expanded so this man mr i literally made a living off of candy 
to the point where not only he put his kids through school, paid his house off, sold his house. I think Mr. I ended up moving to like Arizona or something like that. I wonder if Mr. I is still around, man. If Mr. I is still around, man. Salute to you, sir. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for being I. He was the hood Willy Wonka, Mr. I. That's what we gonna call this, the hood Willy Wonka. You don't see the hood Willy Wonkas no more. Now, Mr. I was our Willy Wonka. Now, even though we had Miss Jackson's on the corner, which she did it the right way, she had the legitimate storefront. Mr. I trapped out the crib and he had a, like a dope line. Like he was selling government cheese front to back, morning, noon, and up until whatever his designated closing time. He always switched the closing times up. He never opened up late, but he definitely opened up shop where everybody knew where to come. You knew what door to go to. He had switched the door up every now and then over the years. You know, sometimes, you know, he had set up, put up a, he made it like a store. He had built a platform in the back porch made it like a store where you can walk in order look at everything see what you want to order and they, they'll serve you then he switched it up to the basement turned the basement into a full-fledged store with everything it was like it was kind of hard to explain he had the food cooking in the back store in the front man it was lit it was one of the things you can take a have a get you a dollar and you can get you a honey bun a quarter juice and still get some candy or maybe even if you was fortunate to get a dollar or two man you balled out that's that's the one thing, you know, I ain't, I don't see too much um, is candy stores anymore. Nowadays, you have to do it the right way these days. So but ultimately, back then, as a childhood memory, we used to love going to the candy store. Man, I think that was like the, the coolest thing ever. Probably got a little bit of trouble in school, man, for eating candy in class. But other than that, I mean, just to have just the simplest things like that, looking forward to going to the candy store in the morning. Looking forward to going to the candy store after school and during, you know, during playtime hours after homework, you know, making sure you got your kit every day. You know what I'm saying? So that was our fix for the day. So um, shout out to Mr. Ah, man. I just wanted to show some love to Mr. Ah one time for the fun time. So that really concludes my broadcast for tonight. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Y'all know my slogan, man. Keep God first. Stay sucker free. By all means, get to the money. Peace and love. Stay healthy. And I'm out of here. And before I go, I forgot, dang. Make sure y'all go to www.powercircle.b and get yourself some hair buses, all-purpose knockout seasoning. Make sure y'all watch this video to the end, and I'm out.